Good morning, guys. Uh, it's me, Rock, and I'm back with the another one. Well, this one is not a video I would usually do, and this is probably going to be the only video I do like this because this person is really special to me. Um, I've been following this person ever since Facebook, and she was the first person I've ever followed and just fell in love with like as far as I love the way she think I love the way she act I love her videos and everything like that so my heart goes out to this person right now and I just want to give this person some tips on life better in their self and continue to grow as a person um, so this video is to send a message to Dama Wilson um, I've been following her since before time like since she had BMW and it was on Facebook so and she was the only person I followed and I just want to get this message to her because I know right now it's a hard time for her and she's really hurting I feel it in my heart like she's really hurting and I've been through similar situation to in a similar situation because once you go through one situation you will never repeat that same situation again so it was only one situation i've been in and it was hard for me it was hard for me so i'm going to share some tips with you that helped me get over a person um number one love yourself love yourself because i guarantee you no one is going to love you like you love yourself and that's a promise no one will love you like you love yourself. And that goes for anybody. And that's that's really number one. Get you back. Focus on you, your child. Um, and that's something that I had to do because I do have a six-year-old. So, um, which is kind of hard, you know doing things without the other person but you you'll get used to the the changes you'll get used to the doing everything for you and your child and that's okay it's okay to do those things because you have to be better for yourself and for your child and you have to stay strong you have to you have to to let go you have to maintain sanity and, and sometimes it's hard sometimes it's really hard so i'm glad that you are actually seeing a therapist because at one point i had to as well so don't feel bad about that don't make it make people make you feel like therapists are not good people because they are they know more about things than anybody else you know i was very skeptical at first you know talking to a therapist because how she's supposed to know but you talk to that person you tell that person things and I've learned like it's better to sell tell someone that doesn't know you versus telling someone that literally knows you you know you have to sometimes get someone from the outside to look in and it's perfectly fine to have a therapist so keep going Damo keep going keep pushing keep talking to your therapist Keep your goals going. Keep the music going. Make a legacy for you and Dominic. And then when the other child comes, add the next child onto it. Number two is to remove them off of all your social media. All your social media. At this point, you have to move on. So taking them off your social media will be awesome. And even if you can get your brother or someone to take dominant to her when y'all swap y'all days that will even help you have to have this person out of your eyesight for some time simply because it'll help you it'll help you live in your truth it'll help you 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 understand yourself better it'll help you in ways you think that you might not think it helped but it will help to be distanced from this person no you don't want to take dominant from her and i guarantee and i and i commend you on that don't don't because if she really wants to be the mother and she really wants to take care of Dominic, allow her to because like I said I was in this one situation she don't even see my child she had the option to and she does not see her at all so I know it kind of hurt my child but at the end of the day she don't want to come around hey it is what it is you know so do that and let your brother mom sister whoever take Dominic every three and a half days 
it, it'll help you. It'll help you cope with everything. Number three, uh, create an X-free zone. Well, an X-free environment. The environment that you in, make sure it's X-free. Anything you have of hers or anything that reminds you of her, take it away. Take it out. Because it, it's going to... It's just going to make things harder for you, too. So take it away. Take it out. You know, I know y'all got a kid together and certain stuff. And certain things will remind you of her. So if you can't do the whole ex-free environment, then that's that's totally fine. But as much things, try to get it out. Like, try to take it out. Like the old people always say, <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. You know, that'll help. You cannot stay friends. You really can't stay friends after a breakup. You know, some people can after some time. After some time. Because me and my exes, well, one of my exes, I can, I, she still hits me up and I respond to her. I don't do the hitting up, but if either one of them, because the other one will hit me up occasionally on my birthday or her birthday or Mother's Day and my child's birthday, she'll hit me up. But... That's it. You cannot stay friends with that person. You cannot stay friends with that person. Not right after. Now, years down the road, once you're over and all that, yeah, you can become friends with that person, you know. But then, why would you move back when you can just keep on moving forward? You, you know what I'm saying? Hurt people hurt people. So... Yeah. So also, I would encourage you to work out. If you have the time in your day, work out. Um, for me, working out relieves a lot of stress. It really, it it just makes you feel good. Or go outside and just take a nice walk. Nature really helps the mind. It really clear things up. It it just it just it just puts you in a different state of mind. So take a nice walk. Go out in nature. Go in the park. Just sit and chill. You know like that see I don't have friends either so going through my breakup I didn't have friends um I had to cope with everything on my own and that's when I read you know went to a therapist and things like that so I'm with you on the friends thing I don't got no friends either and this is what I do another thing identify your emotions um write your emotions down why you feel like that um what you can do to make yourself better, um, what you can do to, you know, become a better person. Also, with with the emotions, um, make sure you're living in your truth. Make make sure you you accepting the truth, forgiving that person. Um, that takes time. That does take time. I can't tell you that will happen overnight because it didn't happen overnight for me. It takes time, and. And it, it, it feel, you feel better after. It takes time. And you can't, no one can force you to say, yeah, you have to give her. No, I'm mean, going to have to forgive her now. It, it may take years for you to forgive her. But move at your own pace. You know what I'm saying? To cry as much as you need to. Crying helps. Get it all out. It's okay to cry. It is absolutely okay to cry. Y'all, lift my lips, chat. I'm telling y'all, just waking up, and this was literally on my mind to tell Damo these things that I went through, you know, well, the things that can help her get over this break. Uh, most of the time when people cry, they think, oh, I'm being, I'm being a punk, or I'm being a little, and no, you're not. Cry it out. Crying helps. Cry it out until you can't cry no more, because at one, one of them days, you're going to wake up, and you're not going to be crying no more. You're going to be like... Oh, I feel refreshed. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Um, don't put too much effort in trying to get in that person back. Get yourself back. Get yourself back. Find out things you like to do. Go get it. Go for it. Um, do some daredevil things. Uh -huh. Write letters. Write letters like you're writing them to her. Letting her know how you feel. But shred them. Shred every single letter. Make sure you shred them. Because you don't want them ever to get out of your sight. So write a letter, you know, like you're writing it to her, and shred them. If one day those letters going to stop, and you're going to be like, ah, refresh. At least, Damo, stop blaming yourself. 
You are you. The person who you are is the person that you became. Is the person that you should love. If you want to dress like a girly girl, you want to dress like a stud and a fem, that's perfectly fine. No one should be able to judge you off of, off of your looks, off of how you dress, off of how you act. And that's the thing with life. People always want to judge you or think, because she knew you dressed it like that from the jump. So, why was it a problem? You see what I'm saying? So, she shouldn't have got with you. But we're not going to get on that. We're not going to get on that. Stop blaming yourself. Stop blaming yourself for the things, for the person you are. You are this person. Continue to be you, boo. Continue to shine. Continue to glow. Continue to live your life and move on. Because guess what? One day you're going to look back and say, I did that. I did that. And I got over that. And that might have been a, this might have be, this might be the hardest thing you've had to do. But guess what? You did it. Let me know. Let me know. I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. My camera died, but, you know, it's fine. Um, I'm actually cooking, but I want to finish this video for Damo. Um, I know I ran it and ran it and rambled on and rambled on and rambled on, so this video is probably going to be long, and I'm probably going to be like, why she sent me all the, all the whole thing about me? Why she said that whole thing about me or whatever? But I just want to let you know, Damo, people are going to be people. And we can't choose the people who we, you know, fall in love with sometimes because sometimes it happens by just, it just happens out of the blue. So I don't want you to feel like you're not going to find love again or you're not going to, you know, or or be with someone who you want to be with because you will. You will. Eventually those days will come where you just wake up and soar out here in the world and do what you got to do. So I want you to keep your head up, stay positive, and continue to be blessed, honey. You are blessed. You're blessed. So don't let all the negativity in a person put you into a different mindset. Change that mindset, boo. And like always, it's okay. I'll, I'm going to love you until the end of time. And I'm going to continue to watch your videos. So stay strong. And I'm going to be right here watching you in, in the comments and stuff from time to time. So. And guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let Damo get this. Make sure Damo gets this, please. This is for Damo Wilson. Bye.